peaks we have uh, one integrated to three one integrated to one and you know why we just discussed so yeah let's move forward um i don't think i can erase this so um never mind let's move forward just ignore this please yeah so we have a benzene molecule now as i discussed last time all these carbon atoms are the same so same carbon environment one peak integrated to six just like last time just like the proton and mr spectrum uh, i'm sorry for this i somehow can't remove it and um, let's move on yeah so in the phenol molecule let's divide symmetry this carbon atom is at the top so one peak symmetrical so two peaks symmetrical three peaks furthest four peak so one two three and four four different peaks in the carbon 13 environment uh, this one will be integrated to one this one will be integrated to one uh, these two will be integrated to two no splitting it's carbon 13 last time uh, for this molecule if you remember we had splitting because of the proton nmr but since it's carbon 13 we will have no splitting so we will have something like two peaks like this because integrated to two and uh, two peaks like this integrated to one uh, the chemical shift can be seen from the data booklet okay so last try no not last second last try nitrotoluene tnt the explosive again we divide it symmetrically we have one carbon environment here one carbon atom here this one we have another one because since this is it is symmetrical these two are different this is in the benzene ring this is in the methyl group different but these two are same because of symmetrical so one uh, one peak two peaks Three, third peak, fourth peak because symmetrical, fifth peak because farthest. So farthest from this. So first one, two, three, four, five. If you remember, we only had two peaks in the proton NMR spectrum because of only two, uh, because because of only two um, hi, uh, hydrogen proton environments. Uh, uh, one was this and one was this but in the carbon 13 nmr spectrum we have five different peaks because we have five different carbon environments all different because of symmetry uh, let's move forward now yeah so this molecule last time we uh, drew the hydrogen atom so let's oh, I'm sorry let's Okay, what's wrong oh yeah I didn't select my pen I'm sorry for that H let me erase this yeah okay so we had this molecule and we determined that it was symmetrical from this line it was symmetrical from this line and it was symmetrical from this line so uh, the same applies here in this case the carbon atoms are this i've circled the carbon atoms these are the carbon atoms uh, because of the skeletal formula because we haven't seen c over there and these are also the carbon atoms uh, yeah so these are the carbon atoms six carbon atoms now this will have only two peaks now i'll tell you why because whichever line of symmetry we divide it with we have one carbon atom from the ch2 group and we have one carbon atom from the c double bond o group 
Yeah. So we have only two chemical environments for carbon. One is from the CH2 group, one is from the CO group. 